can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Uh, frame plus uh, shear force question. Inter determine the internal force, uh, normal force, shear force, and moment at point C. Right away here, right? First, uh, find the global equilibrium. So we already simplified at this uh, force distribution over here, uh, 150 pounds per uh, foot times 12 foot. So it gives you uh, 1,800 pounds. And um, now over here, so this is something I want to mention. So in the previous unit, right, in uh, unit 6, you would have guessed that, oh, you know, Jack, there's a force over here, and there's a force over here. But in this case, what are these two forces equals to, right? What is the only force that's applying onto uh, this wheel over here? Is the tension, right? And since uh, this, and that is the force applying onto the wheel, right? The rope applying onto the wheel, and the wheel, uh, since it's attached to this um, whole thing over here, would have applied to the beam. But the sum of the two forces were really just, you know, equal to T, and since these and the wheel are in equilibrium, then they are equal to each other, right? So it equals to zero. Uh, you know, they're same magnitude, but going to opposite direction. That's why we don't draw any force over here because it is already equilibrium uh, at this pinpoint, so we don't have to worry about it. And this entire rope, you know, the tension is equal to each other uh, with the entire rope. And it's all about you know the direction of where the force is trying to pull it, right? It's, it doesn't matter what the force uh, tension over here. It matters where it ends up with, and it ends up connected to a wall, and the tension happened to be perpendicular. I mean, uh, parallel to the beam, uh, the uh, horizontal uh, section of the beam. So that's why the tension. We're going to use the tension times the distance. Uh, in the vertical direction, right? Instead of using the tension, you uh, times the horizontal direction of the beam over here. So we're going to use uh, sum of the moments at A uh, equals to zero, going kind of clockwise is the positive direction. So therefore, T uh, times 2.5, right? 2 plus 2.5, maybe 2.5 feet. Uh, 2 plus 0 0.5 equals 2.5 feet, um, minus 1,800 pounds times, what is this, 6 feet over here, right, equals to 0, so tension, um, tension should give you, let's see, uh, let's just calculate it, 1800 zero, zero, times 6 divided by 2.5, it should give us uh, 3, uh, 4,320 uh, foot, sorry, I mean pounds by itself, right? And now we can use uh, this entire system using the sum of the forces, sum of the forces in the x direction, going this is a positive, so ax uh, is minus t equals to zero, ax equals to t, so ax uh, should be 4,320 uh, pounds as well. And uh, some of the use the, some of the forces in the y direction, uh, a y might have a y is going up, so minus one thousand eight hundred uh, pounds, so equal to zero. So a y should be one thousand eight hundred pounds. Okay, and since we found all the forces over here, we can draw a little section of B of C. Right over here is a C um, shear force, this force, and uh, the moment. And one force going this way, one force is going this way. And um, and remember, this force distribution is applied to all beam. So that means there's a force over here, right? There's a force distribution. So it's 150 times, this is 3 feet over here, right? This is uh, 3 feet over here. So 100, 150 uh, times 3, so that's 450 pounds applying on this beam. And the distance is right in the middle, but so that's uh, 1.5 feet. OK.
Okay, so we have this force over here. A y is one thousand eight hundred. A x is uh, three thousand uh, four hundred four thousand three hundred twenty. So use the sum of the forces in the x direction equals to zero. Then this is positive uh, one three two zero uh, plus a. I mean plus the normal force as c. So n c equals to zero. So n c should be uh, negative. 4,320 pounds and simplify, right? I mean, not simplify, but uh, round to a three significant figures is a negative 4.32 kip. So let's write it over here. Negative 3, 4.32 kip. And then we can use these, some of the forces uh, in the y direction. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Some of the forces in the y direction goes to zero, going up is the positive. Uh, therefore, so this is 18 uh, new, uh, pounds going up, minus the 450 pounds going over here. Uh, that should give us the shear force VC. So shear force should be uh, 1,350 pounds. Round that to three sig figs, uh, that would be Three. Wait, no, one point. Yeah, this is correct. One point three five uh, kip. Sorry, one point three five kip. All right. So VC equals one point three five kip over here. All right. And uh, finally, we can use the some of the forces. Uh, some of the moments, going this is positive, some of the moments uh, at C equals to zero. So that would be 1,800. This is going at this direction, so that's negative uh, times uh, three feet. And plus the 450 Newton, this is creating a counterclockwise, which is positive, times 1.5 uh, feet. And this whole thing plus the MC, right? Moments SC, and that should give us zero. That should give us zero. And plug everything into your calculator. I'm going to do that real quick. 1,800 times three feet uh, minus four five zero. The result is um, 4,325. So. MC should be because yeah you plug this into the other side and minus this right that's what that's what I did I said 1,800 minus the 450 so MC should give you uh, 4,725 uh, so round to three sig figs it should be three uh, 4.73 uh, kip times foot and here we go right it's it over here, uh, 4.73 kip times foot. Yeah, these two, these questions, uh, you know, studying chapter six can really like complicate your understanding on the uh, beams, right? Unless A asked to solve for, you know, structural analysis, you know, just try to understand the concept and try to draw as less force as possible, right? Because the clearer the picture it is, the easier for you to finish the question. And um, again, like I try to explain this over here, you know, tension is the only thing that's applying on the, so the will that's in the pin connection over there. So the will is applying to the force of T onto the pin, and the pin is connected to the beam, right? So it's really just tension applying the force to the beam. So why don't we care about the force over there, right? We don't because it's already in equilibrium, it's already zero. We can just use the tension. And the tension, it doesn't matter where it started, it matters where it ends. And all rope has a unified uh, tension force. So we use the tension force going into the uh, horizontal direction over here. Right? And that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the future. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.